Well, here's a titration problem uh, that we can do. Uh, we're told we've got 30 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, HCl, and it's being titrated with 0.2 molar NaOH. So we're adding uh, NaOH to the HCl, and it took 48.32 milliliters of the NaOH, and we want to know what the concentration of HCl is for, uh, for that solution. So first thing we need to do is to write out uh, our chemical reactions so we know ex what exactly we're dealing with. So we've got uh, HCl, it's going to be aqueous, plus our sodium hydroxide, which is also going to be aqueous. So then acid and a base, those are going to react and give us water. It's going to be in liquid form, plus the soluble salt, sodium chloride, Oops. so that will be uh, aqueous as well. Okay, if we want to look at the, uh, the net ionic reaction here, uh, that would be H plus, plus OH minus gives us H2O. Okay, so, uh, so one of the things that we know is that at neutralization, we know that the number of moles of H plus have to equal the number of moles of OH minus. And we also know that the number of moles is equal to the volume times the concentration in molarity. And so we can use that relationship there to set up this equation, which is that the volume of the acid times the molarity of the acid is equal to the volume of the base times the molarity of the base. And so if we look at the things that we were given in this problem, uh, we know all of these things except for the molarity of the acid. So that's what we're going to be looking for. So we can say that the molarity of the acid, if we do a little bit of rearrangement, is going to be equal to the volume of the base, which is 48.32 milliliters, times the molarity of the base, 0 0.200 molar, divided by the volume of the acid, which is 30.00 milliliters. Now you can see here I didn't uh, change my volume from milliliters to liters. I could have done that but I don't need to. And the reason for that is that my milliliters here are going to cancel out and leave me with molarity, which is what I'm going to be looking for. And so when we solve this equation here, we get molarity of the acid, which is equal to 0 0.322 molar.